Minister's discussions today focused on three main areas. So first of all, in the short term, seeking to help out those countries that have been targeted by Gazprom's move to cut supplies, that's namely Poland and Bulgaria. Both members of the EU, we understand, are now receiving gas supplies from neighbouring EU countries. But of course, that is really a short term measure. The Polish minister told me she sees no great danger for her country because Poland has been working to diversify its energy suppliers. And that really moves on to the second point. Member states have been looking into the, into the longer term about reducing their reliance on Russian fossil fuels more broadly. They've been looking at discussions with different different countries, including Qatar and Nigeria, trying to really diversify the supplies that are in place. But that simply won't happen overnight. First of all, the EU doesn't have the infrastructure in place to radically increase imports, for example, of liquefied natural gas, an alternative to Russian pipeline gas. And moreover, different countries have very different levels of dependence, and that makes this a very tricky discussion. There are no discussions trickier than when it comes to future sanctions. We do expect the European Commission, that's headquartered in the building behind me, to come forward with fresh sanctions proposals in the coming days. They will likely include a ban on Russian oil imports. That is a very tricky topic among these member states because some member states, as I said, are simply reliant on Moscow. We do expect some debate then among member states moving forward whether or not they can agree and to what extent and in what timeline they can agree on remains to be seen. We think Germany for example will push for a phased in approach to phase out energy imports or oil imports from Russia by the end of the year. Meanwhile countries including Ireland and Poland are really pushing for an overnight ban. They say every time the EU countries purchase energy from Russia they are helping to finance the war in Ukraine. Of course that is a view which Ukraine very much echoes. Rosie Burchard, SABC News, Brussels.